Welcome, I'm Ricky Weissman. In this video I will show you the dry needling for the spinal or dorsal part of the deltoid muscle. Trigger points in the deltoid muscle are very common and can refer a rather local pain into the shoulder and can be responsible for a restricted range of motion of the shoulder joint. As an example, trigger points in the dorsal part of the deltoid muscle can restrict transversal adduction of the shoulder joint. The landmarks for the dorsal part of the deltoid muscle include the spine of the scapula and the deltoid tuberosity. Precautions include the shoulder joint, the radial nerve and the axillary nerve. A good way to needle the dorsal part of the deltoid muscle is having the patient in sitting position with the arm in about 90 degrees abduction and transversal abduction. This enables a good pincer grip. These are the landmarks. The spine of the scapula and the deltoid tuberosity. Precautions are the shoulder joint, the radial nerve and the axillary nerve. With the pincer grip you can avoid injuring the joint and the radial nerve. To protect the axillary nerve and the vessels avoid sharp and burning pain. The thickness of this muscle varies a lot. Therefore the length of the needle is between 3 and 5 cm depending on the thickness of the muscle and the location of the trigger points. Dry needling is done here with a pincer grip. As always, keep the tip of the needle properly in the safe area of the pincer grip. Now disinfect. Since trigger points in the deltoid muscle are involved in almost any shoulder problem, it is a must to palpate and examine them. If you can exclude, for example, a barsitis or a rupture of the rotator cuff, you can expect excellent functional improvements with this technique. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check our website.